What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at the player of the week selection and doing a little review on it, a bit of a breakdown and a couple of talking points. I'd say there's probably three really solid players here and then there's maybe one or two, depending on if you're starting eFootball, uh, there's one or two that you can definitely make a part of your squad. That can be game changing for you, especially if you're just starting off. You know, there's a lot of newcomers. I keep saying that as a free to play title, you know, you do have that entry point to join in and play maybe three or four hours and build a squad within that time to be able to compete in the higher divisions like, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7. So we do have, this is the selection here that we have here. We have Goye or Gay. Uh, Badia Shield, Feminaski, Lacazette, Lukaku, Romero, Hernandez, Ruiz, Fafana, Sane, and Gundogan. So there's probably three top picks here, which we'll get to towards the end, but we will go through everybody here, uh, starting with Gay. This guy is a very, very good box to box midfielder. I think it's, is it Gay or Gay? I think it's Gay. But anyway, my pronunciations are terrible, lads. But anyway, this guy, because you can't train him up, I think he's a very average DMF. I mean, he does have a couple of nice player skills, but even his regular version here goes to 48 levels. He's on A rated as well. So I definitely think that you could probably get the standard version if you're, you know, I mean, are you really going to be spinning for this guy unless you're a massive Sevilla fan? Are you really going to be spinning for him? You know, he's got, you know, standard form. His speed and acceleration and defensive stats are very, you know, quite poor and you can't train up anything else. You can get a standard version of Camavinga or Shuamene or somebody like that or Barrios that will just completely dominate. Fabinho would be a great option for somebody like this that's way better in every stat. So for him, he's a bit of a miss for me. We also have Badi Ashil. This guy is a very, very solid build-up centre-back. So he's a, bit of a, he's a bit of a change from your usual destroyer centre-backs. Now, his standard card that they released had 37 levels. This guy goes to 9 to 1 overall, so it's kind of a similar build, right? A similar kind of style that you will be having here uh, with this level system if you wanted to buy the standard version. Like, if you're spinning and you're a Chelsea fan and you want to get Badia Shield, I would definitely, you know, uh, recommend his standard version. Even though this guy has got a uh, team play style in the 90s, you can more than get those stats replicated here. Now, he did have another player of the week. Uh, or sorry, he did have this version of him as well, which was quite decent. Um, but I definitely do think that this is probably one of the better packs to have released of him. Um, but even at that, he does lack a bit of aggression there, which you can't train up. So for me, he's also a bit of a miss there. Even though I know as a build-up with the play style on, or the form on A, he will be a good enough player if you get him on good form. But for me, yeah, he's a bit of a miss as well. We also have Fabianski. Fabianski um to me lads look if a goalkeeper doesn't have 90 reflexes i don't even pay attention to him right this guy's got standard form as well and he also has 72 clearing which isn't a huge thing he does have long throw which makes him a little bit more viable but that 88 reflexes it just isn't enough even though he's got good reach and he's a fairly tall goalkeeper he is an offensive goalkeeper as well and he's on a form so unless you're desperate for a goalkeeper and you're desperate for spinning and you just get him i probably think you should have a better goalkeeper find out from now unless you literally have downloaded the game the last hour we also have lacazette a very very similar um striker that you're going to see across the board is players like this that they don't have anything really outstanding they just have all kind of mid 80s uh you know kind of stats right acceleration and speed is quite poor his balance is is okay his offensive tactic or his offensive his offensive stats are quite decent especially a first time shot and one touch pass is nice but he has track back which is a big no-no for me especially as a deep line forward i don't really want my deep line forward um to be wasted that much energy so i'm going to have to put counter target on him and if i go to all those lengths then you can just get better players in that position which is not to say that he's you know an absolute waste of a player but i definitely think there's better deep line forwards there than him because it's such an important position we've also got lukaku now i actually spun lukaku and he's quite a beast his acceleration is quite poor but his finishing is 88 and his offensive awareness is 86 and he also has 90 physical contact with 85 speed and the 83 head right so he is a pretty decent player he's very similar to uh what version did they release a while back was it this one yeah it's very similar to that version that they released and it also trains up very similar to the belgian pack as well i would say the belgian pack is probably still a little better because you can train the acceleration a bit more um and that's probably what kills him the most you know you can put 10 into acceleration there and have 84 acceleration you can have 88 finishing and eight and 90 offensive awareness the physical contact is going to be huge on that card as well so for me i think he's probably yeah he's one of the picks of him because he's got one touch pass first time shot he has track back as well but he's a goal poacher so you would be leaving counter target on him he has fighting spirit as well which is an unusual one um 
some of these might obviously be need to be looked at as well. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't really focus too much on that. Uh, but he is a fairly good player. He's a very, very decent player. His form is the big thing with him there. He's got inconsistent form, which is a bit of a pity uh, with this card because obviously you don't know what you're going to be getting with him. Similar to real life, I suppose. We've also got Gundogan. So now we're getting into kind of the upper tier, right? So one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the game, in the world, whatever way you want to look at it. He's got excellent player skills, excellent stats, you know, low pass, ball control, all in the 90s, lofted pass 90, 89 type possession. He has a bit of an engine on him as well with the stamina, and he is a true box-to-box. -box. So I definitely think he's worth a pump if you are looking to get him, or worth a punt, I should say, not a pump. Uh, if you are looking to get him, he is a very decent box-to-box. -box. He's down as a DMF, but he does go to even higher as a CMF. He goes to a 99 rated CMF when you play him there. So uh, that won't change because his player card being locked as a DMF in his reg register position, but you can see it there with the, the stack combination. We also have Sané. Now, Sané is probably my favorite player of this pack, and I did actually get him on my Road to Glory series, and he's been game-changing for me as a whole player, AMF, with that speed, pace, and power, you've got one of the best attacking midfielders in the game, right? He's also down as a super sub. He's got one touch pass, first time shot, long range shooting, dipping shots, long range drive. And of course, he's also got soul control, scotch move, and cut behind and turn. Now, you can't put alternative skills or extra skills and additional skills onto these players. So that is one thing that you will need to look at if you have previous versions of Sané or you have other versions of these cards. You can't actually train them with additional skills and you can't train any other stats or change anything with the card at all. So that is kind of, you are kind of stuck with them. They are just a, like a one a one shot card or a one hit card. Um, but yeah, he's an absolute monster. If you pack him, definitely get him into your squad while he's on form. We's all, and we've also got Fafana. This guy's stats, lads, just, in my opinion, aren't good enough. Um, you know, he's also got a second version of him here in the match pass, which I think is much better. But this one, yeah, I, I for me, even though he's got, you know, one touch pass, fighting spirit, true pass and all that, he's also got double touch um, and long ranger, amazing run and incisive run and trickster as his AI playing style. For me, I mean, I prefer Gundogan because of if I'm playing a box to box, I want somebody that is able to be a little bit of quality on the ball or else I'm just going to be playing Vieira. But then not everyone will have Vieira or Goretzka or somebody like that. So I am lucky enough that I wouldn't really find a spot for him in my squad, but still a very solid player. And then, of course, we also have uh, Fabian Ruiz. This guy, Ruiz, is a PSG man and he's an orchestrator. I got him on both accounts when I spun with my free spins. So I got him on my Road to Glory and I got him on my main a uh, division one style account with my team of legends and yeah i've been impressed i mean he's like a lesser version of gundawan again even though he's an orchestrator he's putting you know are you going to play him ahead of kevin de bruyne when he's not on form no i mean all of these player of the week lads i mean they last pretty much a week and that's it when they're on a form and then if they get on a form again you kind of slot them back in but for that there are better versions of their cards pretty much into the standard marketplace that you can just buy with gp i mean he's only one hundred and ten thousand gp um so make sure and look at that before you spin, is what I would say to you, especially if you're a newcomer. Now, Hernandez is always an exciting player when they have a player of the week card. He's had a lot of versions of him. He's one of the most popular cards that they've released in the game. And he's a very, very decent left back. You can also play him kind of like a left uh, wing back if you play him very advanced up the pitch because he is very attacking. The speed, the acceleration, the balance, the stamina, physical contact, and then the dribbling and possession. But it's not the best version of him, especially with the form. So keep that in mind. But he is a good player. And especially with that blister and pace at left back, with those defensive stats, it is quite decent if you don't have any other versions of him, such as the Milan pack or such as the French version of him, which was the best ever, I would say, um, that they released way back when. So the Milan pack was really, really solid as well. So yeah, you can't put any defensive stats or skills on this guy. So just keep that in mind. And then last but not least, we have Tottenham's Romero. So this guy has got probably the highest defensive stats uh, of the player of the week. Uh, packs and he is just you know exactly as you as you see here he's a destroyer he's not the tallest center back so he will struggle a little bit under the high ball even though he's got good jump and good header with heading player skill he's also got man marking interception he doesn't have blocker which is a big no-no for me but he does have acrobatic clear sliding tackle and of course one touch pass with the low pass and tight possession in the 70s which is very very decent he's a bit of a kind of a player 
uh, on the on the ball, right? Now, I do prefer this Argentinian version of him because you do have that little bit of extra oomph in him and you would be able to actually put on a blocker or whatever on him. But I do think that this player of the week version is very good, especially if you are a Tottenham fan. So yeah, I mean, that is it for me, lads, with the player of the week. We will be back quite soon. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip and I'll talk to you in a bit.